Welcome back to our CCIE journey featuring Ronnie Wong, the show where we get to torture Ronnie live on camera. <laughs> this couldn't be more fun than that. Well, if you remember in our last episode of Ronnie's CCIE journey, we gave him a homework assignment to think about, and that was the creation of a tracker so that as he's moving through his studies, he can track his progress and he can really honestly assess himself on every single objective and sub-objective of the exam blueprint. By the way, we are in the middle of the global pandemic. Please note that we are observing social distancing. In fact, Ronnie and I decided to put approximately 380 miles between us today. <laughs> so Ronnie, right uh, welcome back and did you do your homework? Did you build a tracker? And what did you think of that whole process? And you can be honest, if you hate this, if you're not gonna do it, I'm tough enough, I can take it if that's your feelings <laughs> on this subject. Uh, Anthony, I did follow your advice and I built the tracker based off what you told me to take the exam objectives and kind of use Excel to, to line them out a little bit more for us so that we could see it. So when we started doing it, there were some columns I did forget, but let's go ahead and take a look at it and that will kind of uh, hopefully meet uh, your stand. Now, I did mine probably a little bit different than the way that you would have, Anthony. I took each of the exam domains themselves and I put them on separate tabs. So that way I could kind of, uh, you know, make it a little bit easier uh, and not have the, uh, the Excel spreadsheet here to go out to be like 400 rows long. But, Overall, though, I did build the tracker, at least started to, but I didn't get to finish everything. So uh, I did put a rating at, on at least the beginning here uh, of some of the topics that uh, I feel confident with. That is so cool. And I noticed you, it looks like you liked my five point rating scale. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a great idea because I, I think it actually gave me a chance to evaluate each of those topics honestly. Like, could I actually be ready to do something or... Do I actually need to focus a little bit more uh, in on? So even taking a look at this, I, I kind of felt very confident about these first few, but when it came to that unidirectional link detection, I kind of realized like, I know what it is, but I don't think I could actually teach it right then. So I, I went ahead and said, uh, you know, let, let's go ahead and, and start uh, to, to put that in place. Yeah, that's awesome. So UDLD, uh, you could teach it to someone conceptually on a whiteboard, but as far as configuration and verification goes, you're not there yet. Right. Yeah. I, I love it. I love it. Yeah, uh, the other column that I had here was that studied, and I just wanted to make sure that because I go through, if I feel confident, I can just put another mark of some sort there. That way I can visually identify that I've already covered this, and I may go back again, but uh, it actually helps me to keep track a little bit better. I, I love the tabs idea that I can't believe I didn't think about that. Instead, I, you know, had this ginormously long spreadsheet that was really cumbersome to deal with. And looking at your tabs and your kind of breakdown in your tracker got me thinking about something else. It's a little warning for our students out there that might be following along with us. You know, one challenge to this exercise is that students will often start going through this blueprint as they're building their tracker, and they might have a tendency to panic. So please do not panic. I know as you are looking at the incredibly long list of things that you are supposed to be expert at, you might have some real anxiety here and just, you're gonna have to trust me, you will get through all of these topics and hopefully we'll give you enough tips where it is an enjoyable and seamless process. So resist the temptation to get overwhelmed and to panic. <laughs> Ronnie and I experience this all the time at IT Pro TV. We are currently teaching Cisco's SCORE, the security core curriculum. When we first looked at that blueprint, we looked at each other and we were like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna ever get this done? And sure enough, we're about to finish. So you will get through this uh, study objective, don't panic. Now, Ronnie, uh, this cues up something really, really exciting that we're going to do in our very next episode. This really starts to lend itself well 
for us to discuss a study schedule. Mm. I think it was the great Tony Robbins who said something, and I paraphrase here, he said something along the lines of, if you think about it, it's like a dream. If you schedule it, it's reality. So that applies to our CCIE discussion big time, because what we'd like to focus on in our next episode of Ronnie's CCIE journey is ideas around a study schedule and maybe getting that down on paper. And this is another area where you're probably going to need the approval or the buy-in of significant others and friends and family and all that good stuff. So I hope you're going to be joining us in the next episode of Ronnie's CCIE Journey, where we will put a nice discussion around this concept of a CCIE study schedule. As always, thanks so much for joining us. And I really encourage everyone to subscribe, if you haven't already, to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel and click the little bell so that when we produce new episodes of Ronnie's CCIE Journey, you can be notified. Thanks again, everyone.